Hello my Shopify users, in this video I am going to show you how you can connect your Shopify registered domain to your G Suite slash Google Workspace email. If you have your domain registered with third party service and probably you have your email hosted there too, then for that setup I have a different video, you can find the link in my description below. So say you have registered your domain from within Shopify and now you need to have an email you can send and receive emails from. So what you are going to do is go to Google, workspace.google.com. You can see some plans here. I will start with a basic plan. Once you have signed up, you will land on this page here. And as it's telling you, protect your perpetsneeds.com, show that, you're on, uh, that you own this domain. So just follow these steps here. You're going to click here. It, it will give you some information here. Read through this. I'm ready to protect my domain. Find your DNS records or settings and it tells you you can open Shopify on a new browser tab if you have it already open you don't need to do that then go to step 2 add verification record on your DNS page scroll to the TXT section and add this record so all you have to do is get this record from here and you click in there it will get copied and now you are going to leave this here go to Shopify in here you are seeing this say this is your domain go into manage and when you look down here use third-party hosting service click on this choose your provider G Suite that record that you just copied just paste that in here and then save and now go back to where we were and then down here protect domain and check back in a little bit it says five minutes could take longer you can come back later so it took about a minute or so and you can see that great job for pets needs is protected and now you will just hit continue here And then second step is you can create some more users. Gmail is activated for petsneeds.com. If you go into create, you can add up to 10 users with this account. Every account has different options. So if you're in the beginning account, you will get this uh, options here and then continue. Now you already created one user, you can create more and when they say user basically means the email so each user has a different email and then all those emails you can use with your website so the next step is for you to tell Shopify which email they will use when they are generating all these emails for your customers so what you are going to do is go in store details on the right side contact information edit you see two emails here one is just the email you signed up with and this is what email um, shopify uses to contact you second one is the one that's important customers see this if you email them this is all on your orders that are generated any type of emails that shopify sends um, contact form emails they will go from this email so go ahead and specify the email that you just created in here I am going to enter the email I just created and then hit save
one last thing I wanted to show you was the before and after email so this here is a confirmation order generated before the changes we did and you can see how this is via Shopify email.com and then after the changes I generated an order and look how it came you don't see Shopify in here and please ignore the fact that I have pets needs up here while down here I'm selling hoodies yes so this is all just test data so that's it you are all set with your email with G Suite if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you would like to watch future content thank you